This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today we're going to go over some unusual fishing lure finds, stuff I found at the flea market and Ollie's. Also, I got a little bit of subscriber mail, and we're going to pick the winner for the 60,000 subscriber giveaway. Let's just get into it. First, we're going to check out the flea market finds. Here's a Rapala. I can't quite see which one it is because the box is so messed up. But I paid a dollar fifty for it. Let's see what it is. All right, so it says Rapala, Ireland. Look at this thing. We got a deep dive and crankbait here. Good color, good paint job. It feels translucent, although it's not. It's very shiny. It could use a little bit of a cleaning. Good looking lure here. Risto wrap. So we got a Rapala Risto wrap. I don't know much about it, but for a dollar fifty, happy to have it in the collection. I'll never get that back in there. Have any of you guys used a Rapala Risto wrap? It looks like a deep diver. I can't really tell what's going on with it though, because the box, I can't really read much. Let's see what else we got. I got tiny brush hogs for a dollar. So I'm used to seeing baby brush hogs. What the f was that? So I'm used to seeing baby brush hogs, but tiny brush hog? I don't think I have any of these. Look at that, little teeny tiny brush hog. Smaller than a baby brush hog. You need like a size one worm hook for this. But I bet I could catch something. And for a dollar, I had to buy both of them. They had two of them. Pretty cool. For a dollar, I also got some highball floater jig heads. Right, so this jig head has a little foam head on it, and that's so it floats up off the bottom. So if you put a worm or a minnow on this and fish it on a bottom rig, it'll float just up off the bottom like this, supposedly. For a dollar, I thought I might try it out. And this is not even a fishing lure, but it's a movie, Tim Conway, Dorf Goes Fishing. I paid a dollar for this. I have never seen this. I've never even heard of it. Looks pretty funny though, based on what I read on the back. Anyway, any of you seen Dorf Goes Fishing? For a dollar, why not? I like stuff that's related to fishing, obviously. Now let's check out what I got from Ollie's. Ollie's is like another one of those discount bargain stores, right? So it's full of closeouts, bankruptcies, buyouts, refurbs, that kind of stuff. So you usually get a pretty good discount. This looks awesome to me. I have never heard of this particular brand of craw. Bass Magic, right? So this is a Lucky Strike product. Bass Magic. Magic Craw. Might be hard to see, so I'm going to take one out of here. Look at the detail on this thing. Those claws even have tiny spines on them. This was a good looking bait. Can I get it back in the package though? That's the real question. Good enough. Alright, so this is a five pack here. It says on the back you can Rig it on a jig, or a football head, or even Texas rig it. Pretty awesome. Two dollars for that. I bought a bunch of them. Bought this one, it's like red and white. I also got this one, it's kind of a blue and silver. This one contains six of them, and they're a little bit smaller. So I got two different sizes of them. 
the four pack and the six pack. Good looking little craws here. I can't wait to try these. How many did I get? I bought six packs. That's how excited I was to see them. It has a lot of detail. Interesting, interesting baits here. Let's see what else I got. All right, here's a Havoc Change-Up. This is one I'm not very familiar with. It says it's a Scott Suggs design. It's like a flippin' craw bait in California color. Two bucks for that. Here's a Rocket Craw, another Scott Suggs design. Thought it looked pretty good. Also two bucks. And last but not least, another change up. This one in green pumpkin blue. Pretty cool stuff today. I'm really excited about that Rapala. I don't know much about it, but it's an awesome bait. Those tiny, tiny brush hogs are cool. Of course, all the havoc, but Bass Magic. This is the one I'm most interested in. I can't wait till the bass start biting craws again. When that water gets to about 55 degrees, the crawfish start climbing out of the mud. Then it's game on. Dwarf. Let's move on to the mail. So I got this package here from David in Fresno, California. Dear Realistic Guy, you are the best YouTuber I ever known. I am proud of your work and my dad will send you something and I helped him get it for you. I want to know what is your favorite food and your favorite ice cream. It looks like it says Gabby. Gabby and David. My favorite food. Man, that's a tough one. It has changed over the years, but if I had to eat one food all the time, what would I pick? Probably some kind of ramen noodles. Yeah, I'm guessing ramen noodles. And my favorite ice cream, that's a tough one. I would have to say any kind of ice cream with a caramel swirl. Anyway, let's see what they sent. All right, we got a package of Z-Man Diesel Minnows with a Z. Pretty cool. This looks like a Z-Man Elaztec boot tail swim bait. Looks like it'd make a good trailer. I could possibly even fish that on a jig head or a Texas rigged. This looks like a package of Biospawn Vile Craws. I have tried this before. I don't know if I've ever caught a bass on it, but I think I have some of these somewhere. This is pretty good. That's a popular bait. Here's another package of Z-Man Elaztec. We got Trick Shots. These look like drop shot lures. Pretty cool. Here's a package of impact baits made in Canada. I can't really see what it is, so I'm going to take one out. It is a large crawfish bait. And it stinks like garlic. As soon as I open that bag, it smells like garlic. Wow. Alright, we got some impact craw baits. Here's a pack of Gambler Sweebos in green pumpkin candy. So we got like a little trick worm here. And finally, a pack of Fanatic Classic 4-inch swim baits. These look like little paddle tail swim baits. But they're ribbed, so it might give off a little extra vibration. Interesting lures here. I bet I could catch some fish on some of these. Thanks again to Gabby, I hope I'm getting that right, and David for sending this into the show. 
One more box. This box is from RPF, Randall Pink Floyd. Looks like we got a letter here. Alex says, you know I enjoy looking for bargain fishing lures as much as you do. Here are some regional lures from the Pacific Northwest. All right, first up we got a Gibbs Croc. The package is coming open. Looks like a spoon here. Look at this guy on the back. He's got a big fish. It says the Gibbs Croc spoon are manufactured in British Columbia. Pretty cool. So we got like a pounded metal spoon here. Here's a Lure Jensen teaspoon. <laughs> teaspoon, that's a clever name. This looks like an inline spinner, even though it has the name teaspoon. It says the Lure Jensen teaspoon is a salmon trolling spinner, an old standard here in the Northwest. Pretty cool, it's a big inline spinner, teaspoon. Also in the box is a buzz bomb. This is another spoon. This is a much heavier spoon. It's not flat. It's like diamond shaped. The buzz bomb is also manufactured in British Columbia. It created a big stir when it was introduced both for salmon and inshore bottom fishing. This pink one is for trout jigging. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I could get a trout to bite this, but I bet I could get something to bite it. It's an interesting lure. I don't even know if I want to open it. Also, we have the Rush Tango. Exact replica of the Rush Tango. Cool old box. I know it's a new box, but it has the printing from the old box. That's pretty cool. It says here the Rush Tango Minnow is the first, or is considered the first, mass-produced diving wooden lure. It kind of looks like a bowling pin. It says it dives to about four feet with a wide wobble. It says here that this guy met an engineer who worked at Lure Jensen at the time, and they say this is an exact copy. Again, thank you RPF for sending these cool lures in. It's always fun to see what people fish with in different parts of the country. Now it's time to pick the 60,000 subscriber giveaway winner. Let's see what was up for grabs. A whole bunch of stuff. Reaction Innovation Soft Plastic. This is the Pocket Rocket Dirty Wizard. Also a package of Rage Tail Rage Craws. Of course we got Yum Dingers. We got a package of Zoom Super Salt Plus Magnum Trick Worms. A KVD Square Bill 4.0. A Rebel Magnum Pop R. Good old Rattle Trap. We got a Bomber Model A Crankbait. And finally, we got Powerbait Maxent The General. Good luck to everyone. Let's load the comments. We have 1,272 comments. That's a lot of comments. The video was called Realistic Fishing's Super Surprising 60K Special Edition for the Fans. Still loading those comments. The time has come. We're going to pick that winner. Here we go. It didn't click. <laughs> Damn it, here we go.
The winner is H2O for life. Congratulations. It won't be long till 100K. Thank you very much, H2O for life. All you need to do is send me an email, realisticfishing at gmail.com, and I will get this out to you. You can even get a hold of me at Instagram or even on Facebook. H2O for life. Get a hold of me. I will ship these out to you. Congratulations. And thanks to everyone who participated and commented on the 60K giveaway video. Thanks again to everyone who sent something into the show. And thank you for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.